and welcome back to my series ABC of coding in Python where I'll be teaching you the basic steps of coding in Python um, the language could be used for processing any data file however I particularly work with bioinformatics knowledge of Linux commands is a must though so let's get started okay so if you remember the last time we were dealing with a script file where we had these print statements so we are going to learn today about a concatenator. A concatenator is something with joint strings. So a concatenator in Python is represented by a plus sign. So just to show you what I mean, if I join two strings, two separate strings, say six, this is my concatenator. And if I join 9, which is also another string, so I'm essentially joining 6 and 9 together into a single string, what you get is Python 3 print. There. 69. So 6 and 9 are essentially just joined together. To break it up, and make it all the more easier for you. Let's just go step by step. So when I have print six plus nine, plus here this addition sign is actually summing up six and nine. It's a typical numeric operation that we all know about. So running the script, we get 15. When, however, I put this entire 6 plus 9 within quotes, this entire thing, this entire thing, 6 plus 9, whatever is within quotes is printed out as it is. So the entire 6 plus 9 thing is treated as a um, string. And what you get here is... 6 plus 9. So, yes, 6 plus 9. However, if I treat 6 as a string and 9 as a separate string, sorry, and 9 as a separate string, what happens is plus here acts as a concatenator. It just joins these two separate strings into one. And what you get is 169. To make the concatenator understandable in terms of alpha characters, um, let's print a string. Hello. And let's print a string world. So, as you would expect, you're going to get two different printouts hello and world. If, however, I concatenate these two using the concatenator plus and that would be hello one string plus the concatenator world another string hello world right so you get hello world. Now these two are sort of like getting uh, one on the top of the other. So for this, what you have to do, um, you could include a blank space that do within quotes. And now what you get is hello world, right? So this is very similar to um, printing 
this is very similar to painting six and nine together concatenating or joining them together so you join these two together you have six nine together as in 69 in case of hello world though you need a spacer in between so let's introduce the concept of variable here which you will find very useful later down in the lane so let's say if your variable is x and if i assign a string to it say hello and if i print the variable when you run the script you get hello printed on your screen the thing with variable is that you can change it now if i assign world to it and if i print x i get world and if i have both let's say two variables x is hello y is world now if you have another variable where you are essentially concatenating these two so if i have x plus y and if you print it hello world but again you have to have space so i could include this in the set itself You have a low world. Variables could be used for numeric characters and obviously for numeric operations as well. So if I assign 6 to x and if I assign 9 to y, then here x plus y, this plus is going to act for addition rather than uh, for con concatenation because I'm dealing with numbers here right i'm not dealing with strings so this one here is not a concatenator rather it would just sum up six and nine so what you would expect for z is 15 let's see let's run the script there you have 15 so depending on how you use it plus could be used for addition and it could be used as a concatenator as well. So what did we learn in the tutorial? Not all six plus nine are same. What I mean is when you have two numbers and when you have a plus sign in between, it just act or acts as an addition operator here. However, when uh, the plus sign is within quotes, entirely within quotes, then it becomes a string itself and uh, it becomes part of the string and when you have a plus sign which is between two separate strings the plus sign here actually acts as a concatenator it just concatenates or joins the two strings together so concatenation is an operation that joins strings together in python and it is represented by the plus sign like i remember in Perl programming language it is a dot so dot does the job of concatenation in Perl, but in Python, it's plus. When you have two strings, say hello and world, you concatenate them together. What a concatenator would do, it would just seamlessly join them together and you get something like hello world, one on the top of the other. However, if you want it, like as an English written language with a space, then you have to tell the computer via your programming language to include the space. And that would be including a blank space within quotes. And then you get like hello world with a space between hello and world. Variables, um, it's a very useful concept and you find it like, you would find it using quite often when you actually start coding. Um, yeah, variables could be 
uh, it, it could be used to assign uh, strings or numbers. So what you see on the left-hand side, X and Y, these are the variables. And on the right-hand side are the values which have been assigned to the variables. So these could be strings, these could be numbers. So that's all for now. Stay tuned for more. And if you found the content useful, then do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.